Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Learning Kurdish with us. We know that you have been waiting a long time for the next episode. We do have a lot that we are working on at the moment, but ensure you that we are trying our best to keep up with the episodes. If you want to learn Kurdish faster, be sure to support us on Patreon. General Kobani or Qazi Mohammed Tire will give you access to private lessons in Kurdish through Skype or Messenger. I will put the link below so that you can read more about this amazing offer. Today we will learn body parts and clothes and we will also provide a conversation scene from a cartoon and translate it to Kurdish so that you can learn in a new way. But for now, let's start with the body part words. So, foot, pe, leg, kaç, knee, ajno, thigh, ran, Stomach, wurg. Breast, sung. Arm, bal. Hand, dust. Palm, lapi dust. Finger, panja. Toe, panji kach or panji pe. Nail, ninok. Shoulder, Shan Throat Mil Jaw Chenaga Mouth Dem Lips Leo Teeth Dan Tongue Zman Nose Lut Eyes Chow Ears Gue Hair Kj Let's do them one more time. Foot, pe, leg, kach, knee, ajno, thigh, ran, stomach, wurg, breast, sung, arm, bal, hand, dust, palm, Lapi dust. Finger, panja. Toe, panji kach or panji pe. Nail, ninok. Shoulder, shan. Throat, mil. Jaw, chenaga. Mouth, dem. Lips, leo. Teeth, dan. Tongue, zman. Nose, loot. Eyes, chow. Ears, gue. Hair, kj. Now, remember to maximize your learning. Write every word that we are going through on a piece of paper and just keep on memorizing them. Let's keep going with the words and talk about the different colors out there. So, how do you say black? Black, rush. White, spi. Red, sur. Yellow, zerd. Blue, sheen. Green, saus. Purple, moor. Brown, kawi. Now, for this last one, gray. The most common word used is rasasi. However, we're gonna learn you the original Kurdish word that is kholameshi. So gray on Kurdish is kholameshi. However, the most common word that is used for gray is rasasi. So you should learn both of them. If we can make a change and make people use the original Kurdish word, I would be most happy. So let's keep on going. Short, kurt. Long, drej. Small, pchuk. Big, gowra. Thin, lawaz. Fat, kalaw. So let's go on with some sentences. That boy is really long. O kura barast zor dreja. That girl is really short. 
او کچا براس زور کرتا. Her eyes are green. چاوی او سوزا. Her nose is small. لوتی او پچوکا. And we just want to remind you that it is up to you basically to practice on the previous episodes. I don't think that you're going to learn Kurdish if you just go through them one time, but you have to check it out several times and write them down on a piece of papers, play games with yourself, learn every word from all the episodes that you keep on memorizing the words, or as I've said in the beginning of the video, go ahead and support us on Patreon and I will personally help you with online lessons while you also unlock other benefits being a patreon member of our page so definitely check that out the link is in the description box below and now after we've done the body parts the colors and some other things let's go over to the clothes and we start from the bottom as mentioned in previous episode the word for shoes is not konara the word konara comes from arabic word and we say pelau the correct Kurdish word is pelau. So, shoes, pelau. Clothes, jilu berg. Now, in this case, you can also only say jil or only berg, but the more fine word for clothes is jilu berg. Socks, gorewi. Shorts, short. Trousers, pantol. Jeans, jeans. T-shirt, blues. Dress, kras, suit, destajil, tie, krawat. Now, once again, krawat is the Kurdish word. The most common word for tie is boyimbach, but the word boyimbach comes from the Turkish word, and the more correctly Kurdish word is krawat. Cap, klaw, jacket, chaket, scarf, milpitch. Gloves, destawana or deskesh. These shoes are too small for me. I'm pelawana pchukenbom. I like it, badulma. I don't like it, badulmnia. I don't like this t shirt. I'm bluzim badulnia. I like this hat. I'm Klawam Badullah. Let's go over them one more time. Clothes. Jilu Berg or Jil or Berg. Shoe. Pelau. Socks. Gorewi. Shorts. Short. Trousers. Pantol. Jeans. Jeans. T-shirt. Blues. Dress. Kras. Suit. Destajil. Tie, krawat. Cap, klaw. Jacket, chaket. Scarf, milpech. Gloves, destawana or deskesh. These shoes are too small for me. I'm pelawana bchukenbom. I like it, badulma. I don't like it, badulmnia. I don't like this t shirt. I'm bluzim badulnia. I like this hat. I'm clown Badullah. Now, that's it for those words. As I said before, keep on writing them down on a piece of paper and just remember them. We have some remembering games in the previous episode. Do the same thing there. Play those games, memory games and other types of word learning games in order to memorize these words and be able to have your foundation in Kurdish. Now we're gonna go into the story and try to, to tell it in Kurdish as well as in English so that we can have a conversation story which will make it more fun and easier to learn. So this story is about a giraffe called Ginger. Once upon a time there were a giraffe named Ginger. Ginger lived in Kenya, a country in Africa. Like all giraffes, Ginger had a long neck and long legs. Because she was so tall, she was able to eat food from the very tops of the trees in the savanna. The savanna in Africa is an area with lots of grass and some trees. Sometimes a savanna is called grasslands. The other animals like zebras and antelopes could not reach where Ginger could reach. But... Ginger always found food. She loved leaves. Alright, so more of this story will come in the next episode. 
but that part that we have done right now let's start by telling it in Kurdish one sentence in a time so once upon a time Rojek la Rojan when you start a storytelling you always say Rojek la Rojan it basically means once upon a time there was a giraffe named Ginger Zarafeyek habu nawi Gingerbu. Rojek la Rojan Zarafeyek habu nawi Gingerbu. Zarafa is giraffe Nawi Jinjirbu means that her name was Ginger. Ginger lived in Kenya, a country in Africa. Ginger la Kenya dejia. Walatek la nao Afrika. So, walat, country. La nao, in. Ginger lived in Kenya, a country in Africa. Ginger la Kenya dejia. Walatek la nao Afrika. Like all giraffes, Ginger had a long neck and long legs. Wak hamu zarafakan, ginger pishtu melu qachi dreji habu. So even though that in the English sentence you only talk about the ginger's neck and legs, in the Kurdish sentence you automatically put in the pisht, which is the back. So you basically say, Wak hamu zarafakan, like all the giraffes, ginger pishtu melu qachi dreji habu which actually means that ginger had a long back neck and legs because she was so tall she was able to eat food from the very tops of the trees in the savanna labar away awanda drejbu ginger daytwani galakani bar strin dari savanna ka bkhwat because labar because she was so tall she was able to eat food from the very tops of the trees in the savanna. Chinjir deitwani galakani barstrin dari savanna ka bukhwat. Eat, bukhwat. Tree, dar. Now the English word here is food. Again, it sounds better to use galakani which basically means the leaves. So leaves, galakan, food, khwardin. The savanna in Africa is an area with lots of grass and some trees. Sometimes a savanna is called grassland. Savanna now cheya kala now Africa ka zor giao drakhti heya. Hendejar savanna pei de gutre now che gia. So now cha is an area. Le now in. Now cha le now an area in. Ka zor giao drakhti heya that has lots of grass and trees. Sometimes, Hendejar. Savanna is called grassland. Savanna pei de gutre nao gia. Called, pei de gutre. The other animals like zebras and antelopes could not reach where ginger could reach. Ashalakani ter wak keri kewiu asekakan neyan tuani begina au berzaya wak ginger de tuani. Animals, ajal. Animals in plural becomes ajalakan. Now, the word zebra, you could in Kurdish also say zebraka. However, the correct Kurdish word is keri kewi. Now, ker means donkey. But when you put in the kewi in it, it becomes zebra. So, keri kewi, zebra. And asik is the word for antelope. So, ajalakani ter wuk keri kewi asikakan. The other animals like zebras and antelopes could not reach where ginger could reach. Neyantwani, could not. Begana, reach. Auberzayana, basically means the height. Wak ginger de twani, which ginger could reach. But ginger always found food. She loved the leaves from the trees. Balam ginger de twani, u kat kesha nebu, huarden bedozetawa. Sor hazi le galai darakani akert. But ginger could. Balam ginger de twani. Kat never. Kesha problems. Khwardin bedozetawa. Finding food. Hazi. Loved. Lagalai darakan akird. The leaves from the trees. Let's read it one more time without any breaks. 
ڕۆژێك لە ڕۆژان زەرافەیەک هەبوو ناوی جینجر بوو جینجر لە کێنیا دژیا وڵاتێک لە ناو ئەفریقا وەک هەموو زەرافەکان جینجر پشت مل و قاچی درێژی هەبوو لە بر ئەوەی ئەوەندە درێژ بوو جینجر دەیتوانی گەڵاکانی بەرزترین داری سەڤانەکە بخوات سەڤانە ناوچەیەکە لە ناو ئەفریقا کە زۆر گیا و درەختی هەیە هەندێ جار سەڤانا پەی دەگوترێ ناوچەی گیا ئاژەڵەکانی تر وەک کەری کێوی و ئاسەکەکان نەیانتوانی بگەنە ئەو بەرزایە وەک جینجر دەیتوانی بەڵام جینجر دەیتوانی و قەت کێشە نەبوو خواردن بدۆزێتەوە زۆر حەزی لە گەڵای دارەکانی ئەکرد So as I've said before, there is more of this story, but we will leave it for the next episode. For the next time, we will go through animals and the nature. If you can't wait for the next episode, go into Patreon and become a Patreon on the second or third tier so that we can go through more of Kurdish lessons right now. Until then, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.